Cappuccino and latte are espresso drinks made by mixing the espresso with frothed milk or with steamed milk. All espresso machines have a steam wand. For a cappuccino, the milk is frothed in a way that creates a thicker foam. For a latte, the milk is frothed into a microfoam, which can be used to produce latte art. Frothing pitchers come in many sizes, 12 ounce, 20 ounce, and 32 ounce. Choose the size in accordance with how much milk you are frothing or steaming. In a coffee shop, you should have a variety of pitcher sizes so that you can choose the right one for the job. To make a microfoam for cappuccino, fill the frothing pitcher one-third of the way with milk, since the milk will double in volume during the frothing process. Have a quick read thermometer with a clip attached to the side of your frothing pitcher. The flavor of the milk will be altered if it's heated beyond 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Ideally, the frothing pitcher should be at the same temperature as the milk, and both should be as cold as possible. Open the steam wand to purge any water, then close it again. Place the tip of the steam wand into the milk so that the tip is about a half inch below the surface of the milk. Open the steam valve all the way at first. Make sure the tip of the wand is kept near the surface of the milk because it needs to draw air from the milk's surface in order to produce the froth. A good starting point is to try to keep the tip about a half inch below the surface of the milk. If the tip is too near to the surface of the milk, it will create bubbles that are too large. If the tip is too far below the surface of the milk, it will not draw enough air to create foam. Remember that as the foam rises, the surface of the milk falls, so you'll have to adjust accordingly during the frothing process. Swirl the pitcher in a clockwise or counterclockwise motion to create a whirlpool motion in the milk. This distributes the microfoam into the milk and ensures an even texture. When the thermometer reads 140 degrees Fahrenheit, turn off the steam wand and remove the tip from the milk. The frothed milk will have a temperature between 145 and 150 degrees Fahrenheit because the thermometer's reading is slightly delayed. Hence the need to stop the frothing process when the thermometer reads 140 degrees Fahrenheit. To make microfoam for a latte, you want to heat the milk to a temperature between 155 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit with only a small head of microfoam. So, when using the steam wand to heat milk for latte, you should submerge the tip more deeply into the milk so that a few bubbles will be produced. You can start with more milk, up to half full when heating it for a latte, since it will not expand in volume as much. You'll only get a small head of foam. When pouring the heated milk into a latte, the milk runs in first, leaving most of the head of foam in the frothing pitcher. Immediately after finishing the steaming frothing process, you'll want to take a few seconds to clean up the steam wand. Sometimes milk will have remained in the wand and will obstruct the wand and interfere with the process. This effect can be minimized by purging the wand after each use. First, open the steam valve briefly to purge the wand. While the wand is still hot, take a damp cleaning cloth and wipe it so that a milk film doesn't accumulate. The cleaning cloth that you use for this should only be used for this one purpose. We would not want to wipe down a dirty counter and then use the same cloth on the steam wands. Anything that will touch something that will go into a drink should have an exclusive cleaning cloth.